so move to lecture number six in this lecture we are going to learn the another rule to find the particular integral up to the last lecture we just learn the finding find the particular integral of exponential function and trigonometric function uh, sine and cos third one is the algebraic function fourth one is the product of two function which is exponential function to any other function now we will introduce the another rule for finding the particular integral of of a function which is the product of x into any other function whatever may be the case any other function that means is the product of the algebraic function to any other function if any other function is again a exponential function then you can use to solve this problem or any of the rule or you use the rule number four or you can use this rule also so we start rule number five this one is your rule number five here we mention the rule number five is this this one suppose the right hand side function suppose the right hand side function fx is x into v where v is any function of x then in that case when we find the particular integral 1 by f d x into v this form can be written as x minus 1 by f d f dash d 1 by f d v v is maybe any function v is any any of the function so you can understand these norms using this particular problem it's a very interesting problem it's d square plus of 4y x sine x so here we use only to find the particular integral because uh, that should be your homework you can find the complementary function is all you can also find the complementary function of this problem and the complementary function answer should be c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x where c1 c2 are two arbitrary constant arbitrary parameter constant or arbitrary parameter whatever the case so here we use the norms this one 1 by fd here fd is d square here fd is here fd is this one okay x into p and p is only sin x so the norm says you can write this result as x minus this one is x minus 1 by fd which is fd this one f d into f dash d this one f dash d f d is d square plus of 4 therefore f dash d should be 2d f dash d should be 2d okay into 1 by f d here f d is this 1 by d square plus of 4 into v here v is here v is sin x okay clear so the result becomes x minus 1 by d square plus 4 2d here is the trigonometric function which is sine function when the right hand side becomes the sine function we just use the norms d square is replaced by minus s square here a is minus here a is 1 so here we replace minus 1 square okay so ultimate result becomes 1 by 3, 3 sin 3x 1 by 3 is out from this the result becomes x sin x into 1 by 3 this one 1 by d square plus of 4 2d 2 minus 2 by 3 is out from this d of sin x d of sin x is cos x okay now 1 by d square plus of 4 cos x that is d plus d square by minus a square here it's 1 so 
d square is replaced by minus 1 square okay so the ultimate result become this one cos x this one is 1 by 3 so ultimate result is 2 by 9 cos x that should be your particular integral that should be your particular integral and that is another rule to find the particular integral of a problem so you uh, that should be your homework if you can if you can erase this one if you can if you can solve the problem so you can also solve this problem you can also solve this problem with the same norms with the same norms exactly we use this norms solve this problem with the same norms how can i write this one the first step i will give you the first step one divided by one divided by d square one divided by d square plus one that should be your d square plus one when you find the pi when you, you do not use the rule number four then you can also find pi in these norms pi 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 equals to one by d square plus of one x into e to the power minus of 2x okay e to the power minus of 2x if we use this problem with the norms number 6 in that case the result becomes over the third bracket this one becomes x minus 1 by 1 by f b square plus 1 b square plus 1 into fd into fd fd means it's 2d fd means it's 2d and this one becomes 1 by fd 1 by fd which is d square which is d square plus 1 into e to the power minus 2x can also solve this problem using rule number 6 so the next step should be that should be equals to x that should be equals to x minus 1 by d square plus 1 d square plus 1 if test d that is 2d that is 2d into this one e to the power minus 2x when we use the norms when the right hand side becomes 
e to the power x we just replace d by a so this one becomes 1 by minus 2 the whole square okay minus minus 2 the whole square minus 2 the whole square plus 1 into e to the power minus 2x exactly this e to the power minus 2x okay so this result becomes minus 2 third whole square 4 5 plus 1 so the next step should be this one x into this one is x into e to the power minus 2x e to the power minus 2x divided by 5 divided by 5 minus 1 by d square 1 by d square plus 1 into 2d this 2d is written as 2 by 5 2 by 5 d of e to the power minus 2x e to the power minus 2x this one so the ultimate result becomes this x x e to the power sorry e to the power minus 2x e to the power minus 2x divided by 5 and minus this becomes plus derivative of this this becomes 4 by 5 4 divided by 5 into 1 by d square plus 1 1 by d square plus 1 d square plus 1 e to the power minus 2 x complete the remaining part we got the same result in this result that means you can solve a problem using different norms to find the particular integral so in the next class we will discuss the last rule which is known as the general rule that means when the function is not in sine x cos x e to the power x or some algebraic function of x or maybe may not be the product of e to the power x into v or x into v or so on in that case we use the general norms to find the uh, integration before we end with this lecture you should learn also this continuation of this lecture is this that is the last case you can use when the power of x is not 1 x to the power n you can use exactly in these norms x to the power n x minus 1 by f d f dash d to the power n 1 by f d into v so happy learning and wait for the next lecture thank you